Okay, so welcome to the uh, Tells the Glory podcast. All of you, three people, and my dog and my cat. <laughs> Woohoo! Audience is growing. <laughs> yes. Yes, we're growing by animals Woo. and people. That's right. My animals so. are the best. As you guys can mm-hmm. see, we have the co-host today. We have Megan Wright from Gather People. And Yay. we're all part of uh, the souls that were collected by Abby McKee. We're probably the Abby McKee uh, army, kind of like the Kiss Army, but it's kosher, yes. right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Abby army. Oh. <laughs> yes. Woo-hoo. So, so, woo-hoo. so it's cool. It's cool to have you back on. She's also from The Shift. She's the host of The Shift to her and Abby. And I wanted to bring... Megan on just by herself because we know Abby and I haven't had Megan on and just who you are and I like to bring on people who are well vetted I say <laughs> and it's just you guys walk in the spirit and I just want you guys to share stories of who you are and what who you've been you know that sort of thing and where you're going with okay. this spiritually yeah um who am I who are you where have I been what where are you I going? Doing? Where have you been? <laughs> it's like, I don't know where, half the time I don't know where I'm going. So, I mean, that, that, that we can uh, give you grace on. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, actually, I was, a, when you asked me to come on here and talk about myself, I was like, I, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> I was like, how do I bring that into a small, concise thing? Um, who I am I? I am a woman <laughs> can you define woman, woman please in this day and age can you define yes, I know. <laughs> are you cis are you biological yeah <laughs> I, I am a biological woman and i am my wife to uh, a wonderful husband mr wright as i call mr. him right to, it's mr wright yeah um, yep mr wright's great and he's the string to my kite and then i have um you know I've got children and extra children and grandchildren. And so I would say those are first of all, like, who am I? I'm just a regular girl who grew up in the country, in the desert. And Mm -hmm. uh, I used to believe that I had this really peculiar story. And then the more I started sharing my story, the more I realized that the enemy's a jerk and he does this all over the place. He doesn't have mm-hmm. anything new. And, and so I used to think even I was special a little, and then I was like, I'm not special. He's super boring and he does the same thing. And, and so, but I ended up having this pretty radical encounter with Jesus when I wasn't looking for him. And, and mm-hmm. that's, how hard I ran um, in the opposite direction of Jesus. When I met him, I just started running that fast in that direction. And I did not know that that's not popular. <laughs> I I didn't know that. I just thought like this was, I, I was 20 and I, no one gave me a Bible. Actually, someone cast demons out of me. So that's it. Like I had this crazy experience. Someone cast demons out of me. And then they, they told me how that happened. And I was like, well, I guess this stuff I've been dealing with my whole life, mm-hmm. I should, whoever did this, I, I think I probably need to get to know him. And so they're like, so would you like to be born again? So Jesus is the one who did this. And I'm like, sure, sign mm-hmm. me up. Like, I, I'll, I'll say yes to that, you know. And, and there, then mm-hmm. I, you know, the heavens opened, fire came down. I got filled <laughs> with the spirit. I didn't know what that was. I got healing right. in my body. I didn't know that that was a thing. Mm-hmm. And so I just started going around telling people this stuff and doing the same thing to other people right. <laughs> and doing deliver yeah, pulled right into service. Yep. <laughs> yes. and, and then I was like, I think I should probably get a Bible. Mm-hmm. And, and I think maybe I should go <laughs> find a church. And, and so I went to a church across the street for me. It was a little Baptist church. Sorry for all y'all. I love Baptist. So, um, but I went there and I started telling them like the story and mm-hmm. all these crazy, awesome things. And, and they were like, so there is a church across town that you should go to. And <laughs> this is probably <laughs> not the place for you. And, 
I was young. I didn't know any different and Mm -hmm. went there and just kept doing the things. So I always tell that part of my story because it's that has, I still do that. There's nothing different. Like that's my Mm -hmm. life. 23 years later, 24 years later. And, and everything sort of involves, you know, that, and Mm -hmm. I deal with the same things, you know, churches are like, don't come here and go there. (laughs) (laughs) We have a resume of churches we've been dismissed from. (laughs) Yes. Yes. And, you know, I, there's a part of my life myself that I'm, I'm like, I don't understand. Like, I'm really mm-hmm. likable. Like, I'm mm-hmm. a ton of fun. But mm-hmm. I, I, you know, I am, I just believe that people can be walking freedom. Mm-hmm. I want them to experience what I experience. I believe that they can. And if he did it for me, then he will do it for you. And that mm-hmm. that's what I'm. That's and I mean I do music. There's so many things that we all do, and right, they're just right, yeah. like tools mm-hmm. almost mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that like get us into certain places to where we do right. that thing, mm-hmm. which is basic, simple Christianity 101. That I didn't right. think it, it. I'm like, is this almost extinct these days? But mm-hmm. but anyway, so and like I had met you before I even knew you did worship. You know, Abby goes, oh, she leads worship. You know, but I never knew the, the worship component or never heard it. Like I oh, see yeah. the other night, I found your spot. I go, what? Cause I look for stuff <laughs> like I'm preparing the podcast. Like I want certain yes. types of music to get me just in that, that the brain, the mode while I'm doing the research and doing that. And I go, right. And it was a Megan Wright. And I go, I wonder if that's on YouTube. <laughs> Cause it came up through the shift, like the algorithm. Oh I'm yeah. Like, I wonder if that's why I asked you, is this your music? So I subscribe to you now. It's well, cool. That's but, cool. But it's like, wow. You know, but I never knew the worship aspect of you, which is kind of cool. I got to meet like the, the you and the Christian part of you and who you are in spirit and soul. Like, and I saw it, I go, Oh, oh. So you told me like you flew off to Thailand to lead worship. Okay. I knew that component like that. Right. But you know, yeah. I never got yeah. to feel the creative side, you know, but it's all of you's creative side. No, that's just the music or it's just, you're everywhere. It's like, it's not just the music, the, the spiritual creative side, like just, it's like a sprinkler. It goes everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why ladies and gentlemen, I brought her on the show because <laughs> It's just what Jesus is doing in you, right? It's not like I'm a worship leader or I'm this or I'm that. You got like stuff just going everywhere, you know? Yeah. It's yeah, like, Jesus, I, I need, I need Megan to do this. Okay. I'll, you know, I know you're there doing this now and it's just, we'll be able to get some of those stories too, but it's just. Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that was a, it, I, re- I actually thought, um, that moving where I'm at right now. So, okay. Mm. So the, my little story Mm -hmm. um is like that little town that all that happened and Mm -hmm. um I was pretty crazy it was a small town and and when I it's so interesting like I I actually sort of I I dabbled in like practicing you know some like witchcraft Mm -hmm. before then no one ever said anything about that as soon as I get like born again and you know signs and wonders start happening then they like called me a witch and I was like, that doesn't make any that's, sense. That's like, the woman I'm at the well, with- right? Isn't that the woman yeah. that, for, yeah, right? It's the woman at the well yeah. situation. Isn't that yeah. the woman that? <laughs> yeah, I was like, so when I was practicing witchcraft, mm-hmm. like you didn't think anything about it, but now I'm actually not doing that. And mm-hmm. Jesus has completely transformed my life. And, you know, he's setting people free. Now you're calling me a witch. It's so bizarre how mm-hmm. that stuff happens even now but right. um so that place i called it my egypt but it was mm-hmm. where i was born you know right. and mm-hmm. all the stigma that was attached to it so it was very offensive to people when i had this you know experience with jesus and my life radically changed mm-hmm. and, and my husband's and i that a lot changed and i, I had children by then mm-hmm. um and so he just told me sit down like just be quiet I'll do I'm going to work on your behalf and I wish I would have taken that uh to heart and everything that I did after that we have to learn the hard way yep yes I was obedient (laughs) that time Uh but um there's been a lot of other times in Mm -hmm. the seasons of my life growing that I'm like I should have just shut up sat down let the Lord move and then go Mm -hmm. when Mm -hmm. he tells me to but I did have to learn the hard way um, so I did it. He moved us to Nashville. 
but now he last fall he called me i lived in dallas fort worth for a long time and mm -hmm. had a great little collective of musicians and we've traveled all around the world and done all kinds of crazy stuff you know mm -hmm. and and it's my little vagabond like troubadours that the church you know for the most part didn't want or overused um they ended up coming to sit at my table but but now he said hey <laughs> I am, I want you to go somewhere else. And it, mm -hmm. I was shocked and he wanted me to come back home uh, to mm -hmm. the place where all the stuff started. And, and so all the same things are happening still <laughs> being here. <laughs> They're <laughs> saying the same things, but he's called me here and and so it's been an interesting journey of slowing down and not right. being in like that metropolis. I mean, I did the mm -hmm. mega church worship mm -hmm. thing and with soup, like very sincere with the same heart, like wasn't like most people that I was going to sell my soul out to the institution, but, um, right. but now I'm like, thank God you didn't. Zero. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now I'm like, yeah. Uh, hey, there was a few times that I looked at my backside thinking that it was getting cinched. I was like, I got to get out of here. Um, but I thought it <laughs> right. was over. I thought like, okay, well, singing, this is like the plane is landing in like, that capacity. And, and I'm going to go out and just start really focusing on discipling people, you know, building the church, the body, mm -hmm. whatever that looks like. Probably and this is the component I came into your story. Like I said, when we, were, we came out yes. with your gather people and that's why yes. I was so impressed by the people you had there. And it was like, like, like each and every one of them, like we made contacts with all of them. Like, wow, these are amazing people that you're setting up. And, and they're all mostly musicians or not all musicians that are they're mostly people. musicians. Most musicians. Yeah. And yeah. damages happened yeah. to the church or something. And like, mm -hmm. it was yeah. like this rebuilding and building off this, 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 again, another army, right? <laughs> musicians. Yeah. And yeah. that's where I saw your story. That's that's what we're talking about here when, when Ms. Megan's talking about these people that's been recovered or she's gathered and that's yeah. where we're at in the story right now, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And and so, mm -hmm. but now here I am out in the desert and I, I'm thinking like it's the end of that and not the end, like I will always worship. Like I, that's just, that is part of who I am. Like I'll sing mm -hmm. to the Lord. But I mean, obviously that wasn't the case. And, and so he... He just sort of revamps it and it looks different. And actually mm -hmm. things have grown so much since I've been out here without any effort on my part and it looks a little different, but, All right. but yeah. Yeah. So I started gathering it, musicians and, and I'm still doing that. I was like, there's musicians yeah. out here in the middle of the desert. <laughs> yes, He's calling them. But it's crazy. <laughs> We're in the same season. Like you talk about, I, I keep feeling like I get sidelined with stuff. And I went through this whole thing where now where God showed me a bunch of weird miracles, especially through night strike stuff. Right. And through these deliverance ministries and the exorcisms where God goes, you still love me. Like you love the, the giver more than the gift. And I go, yeah, I'll still love you if everything got shut down. And so I got put in this quiet time. Right. A lot of time, not a lot of conversations, just peace and quiet, like you're saying. But like yeah. you mentioned something earlier, it was really cool. Like stuff just happens. It's like when I did a deliverance at a brujeria, I just did. I get these people come and go, dude, dude, you need backup in prayer? It's like, no. I don't. And it's just, well, how are you dealing with it? It's, it's, it's just like this Jesus peace thing. And like I said, I had did deliverance training the other night and some, um, I guess I crossed in somebody's jurisdiction or territory and did the meeting and they go, who's your covering? Mm. And I said, Jesus, who are your intercessors? I said, Jesus. <laughs> right. And it's kind of like where we're at now. We get put in this desert. It's like, well, who was Elijah's covering? Who was Moses covering? They didn't have these big churches that were, you know, it's, it was a human legalism no. we have in the Western church. Right. Yes. But they're dumbfounded. Like what? Like, I'm just at peace that Jesus can protect me or you're at peace like we're out in the desert. Like, yeah, I don't need to know what's going to happen because I don't know what's going to happen the next day. It could be a totally quiet day where I'm just painting the outside of my siding. <laughs> and all of a sudden a phone call comes the next day. We need you out here. OK, you know, but yeah. it's like you're saying it's just this flow. Right. Yeah. That mm -hmm. um, somebody asked me a question yesterday and it was really interesting. You know, those times when it'll it's just normal conversation and someone will say something normal but it's like packed with like you can hear the voice of the lord you know mm -hmm. but nothing is happening 
but it almost right. like does something really weird. It, it's like mm -hmm. when you read the scripture and then all of a sudden there's one little piece that comes out of it. I was like, oh right. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that is what happened yesterday. Like in the middle of just a regular conversation, this person goes, so do you like change? And, and I was like, number one, this person never, doesn't ask, you know, yeah, she, she doesn't ask a lot of questions. Not she does, but like, that was like, it was packed with something. And <laughs> <laughs> and like out of me comes something very like romantic that I was not expecting. And then I saw a river yeah. and I saw someone trying to swim this direction against the river mm -hmm. to try to stay in that place. And then I saw them finally like flip over. And I, so I told her, I said, here's the deal. Change is like a river. It mm -hmm. is happening. Like there's right. no stopping that mm -hmm. there's always movement going on and we have one or two th um, things that we can do. Like we can try to swim and stay in that place. Oh, if I just try hard enough against the current of like right. life, then maybe I can stay here, but eventually you are going to wear yourself out and yep. inevitably yep. change is going to take you in a different mm -hmm. direction. So we have a, a choice to make. So, and I said, I've just, I've learned, especially honestly, since like 2020, I'm just going to flip lay on my back and I can trust God that he's the banks <laughs> right. of my life. <laughs> and mm -hmm. this, I live in this flow and wherever I need to go and whatever I need to do, like mm -hmm. I can trust that he's the one guiding me and I'm not going That's to right. try to hold on to like, oh my gosh, am I ever going to lead worship again? Which I, I mean, I think, no, like I, who cares? Who cares that's, if I That's ever. the same thing. Yeah, I, I say we're in the same season. Like what, what happens if you don't teach any more of this stuff? But I, I don't care. Yeah. I got Jesus, you know, it's like maybe something different. Maybe change is coming. He's got good change. I don't care. You know? like, right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so. That's where I'm at. I'm just like, I get up in the morning. I live mm -hmm. my life, you know, mm -hmm. led and enjoying the presence of the Lord. And right. it looks so boring. And but it is not boring. And it is very supernatural. Mm -hmm. And God is constantly moving. And, and I'm like, it is really this easy. This it's this easy. And and so I'm like, I don't I wouldn't change it for the world and i'm so glad and it may have taken me 23 years to get here but it was worth every second of it and and so like now it's inviting other people into like this is the way we are supposed to, we were we were created to live with the lord not to That's right. you know yep. use me you know do <laughs> something <laughs> with me it's so um sir it, it's so servant master instead of you know father son and father right. daughter mm -hmm. and relational and and i mean unfortunately that's a narrative that we get all the time and we want to be used mm -hmm. like that's and mm -hmm. i'm like i don't want to be used though like when i got used it wasn't healthy i don't i'm not created oh, God, to be yeah. used yes it's the american church right the western church yes. is, is a yes yeah. Yeah. What am I called to do? I mm -hmm. can tell you, I will tell you like I tell every other human being Nail that it. they're all Nail called it. to the same thing is mm -hmm. like you're to know God and to walk with him. And the fruit of like that fellowship and that mm -hmm. union will change the world right. around you. And so like someone's like, I'm a missionary and I'm a this and I'm a that. Yep, everybody is like exactly. we're all, all missionaries, like, and we're all called to do just like I'm. I hear you all the time talk about like I'm not a deliverance minister, mm -hmm. you know. I I'm a, like I'm a follower of Christ. Yeah. This is what I do. Yeah. I just yeah. live my life, you know, yeah. with Jesus. And, and well, that's, that's the hard. mystical side too. What Paul's trying to present, right? It's like the union right. with Christ. It's that simple. Union. With, that's our. That's what sanctification is. The the will. Can conform to the yeah. will of Jesus, right? I know. Yeah. Um, I keep talking about I don't do the the sideshows, right? Las Vegas sideshows. So when I did my deliverance um, session last Wednesday. I had them all do contemplative prayer. Let's bring Jesus in. You know, who fixate on Jesus? You know, unfortunately, we're doing fixation on Jesus on the cross, who was crucified. And I look up at him, right, and there was weeping. And when I got him to the point that now, who 
is the one who suffered enough to deal with what you're dealing with. And they got it, right? And then we moved into the flow of deliverance, right? Because we brought Jesus in first, right? I want you to connect with him. Yes. Nothing else. If you just connected with Jesus tonight, you got delivered. <laughs> right. 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 We've made this yeah. so hard. Yeah. We have we've we have yeah. overcomplicated it and mm-hmm. cluttered it. And now we don't even know like right. what's you know, like what is necessary and what's not. So right. uh, on that point, like I had a dream a few weeks ago. And I was like, I know we podcast. And I was like, I think I maybe talked about the dream with the refrigerator and all the condiments. And there was five Mm -hmm. jars of oil that were like dressing on the bottom. Well, yesterday I was having a, you know, with some of my young, uh, so when I'm just discipling and, and like all of a sudden I realized what I was doing. It's like, I'm decluttering and all mm-hmm. this unnecessary things that we want to pile on right like the simplicity mm-hmm. of like the gospel and the kingdom of god and we have all these i got to do this and i got to go there and like i got to say these certain prayers and you know go up to heaven and i know you mm-hmm. always talk about that into court mm-hmm. and do the things and- right, yeah I was like, that's got to be so exhausting. Mm -hmm. And, and so the people in our community now, I think they just automatically know, I'm not going to give you a bunch of answers. If I know you're walking with the Lord and uh, you can Mm -hmm. hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, like I'm going to point you to them, (laughs) to them. (laughs) Right. I'm going to point you to them. Like Mm -hmm. you have the same access that I have. I am not special. So. And he may not tell us because he's, he's personal, right? Right. He may not right. tell us the answer. Yeah. 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 And, and sometimes I do like, I'm learning more to zip it th- these last few years. It's like, I, mm-hmm. my opinion and all my words are unnecessary. <laughs> they need <laughs> Jesus. They yeah. need to yeah. hear the voice of mm-hmm their father Mm -hmm. and their brother and the Holy spirit more than they will ever need my voice. Right. And and so, so yeah, I mean, it's been very kind of like we're on this topic of hearing God. Cause I know you went through this process too. Cause I got listeners who come in there, they're coming out of witchcraft, they're new Christians and they have pastors and pastors wives going, well, you don't hear God. You hear demons. Did you ever encounter that? Well, they were just coming um, against them. They're trying to hear God and just being beaten down. I mean, what was your experience when you're, if you remember back to that, when you're first hearing God? That's a great question. So um, yeah. my experience with people or with like still with people, demonic stuff? Or either, or like when the demonic stuff starts shutting down, you're starting to hear God and you're, you start getting this certitude. Like, I know I'm hearing God. Were you right. getting conflict from other church members? Like, no, you're not hearing from God or something like that. Oh, or, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when they were like, this is a no, no. What you're doing Mm-hmm. It, it, and it's pushing on them not being able to do that and which they have right. the ability to to do right. that i'm like there i'm not go. walking yeah. around just what and that so that was one of the really cool things about mm-hmm. when i did get born again is like i heard like god's voice and i knew mm-hmm. i knew it and i had never heard but I, it, it was, it was, it's like a baby being born and you immediately right. know, mm-hmm. like the mud, like as soon as it lands on the mud, like it's connection, like that's yeah. it, you know? Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and that's how it was for me. I had lived my whole life for as long, even from tiny little girl with just all the voices, you know, right. and people would me call too. them yep. mental, <laughs> the hauntings, you right? know, yeah, the mental voices. disorders, yep. you know, mm-hmm. schizophrenia, all those things. Like I lived my, I didn't know a mm-hmm. day without those things. And, mm-hmm. and so, but then uh, all of a sudden there was silence and I heard one voice mm-hmm. and there was not a question that it was my shepherd. And then I had no grit for that. And I just kept, following mm-hmm. i just kept following that Good. voice and i'm still following that voice and right. and so and it's that voice like yeah i get i mean i don't need to back you up and up but yeah you're dead on you're yeah. Dead. <laughs> yeah 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 it 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 just like it shakes everything mm-hmm. down and it's like the the sweet um, young man that i'm sort of uh 
working with, he he's like me. He like reminds me of me when I was mm-hmm. younger. And the mm-hmm. Lord talked to me about him before I even moved here. And I was like, like, you know, probably what's going to happen if I move back, like right. all the things that happen all the time. And this usually then this happens. And he's like, don't worry about it. Like, there's going to be somebody down there. And I was like, who is this? What? They live there, you know, but so yeah. he heard, um, he's walking through that, like, I'm, I'm hearing the voice of the Lord and awesome. And he heard, um, the father's voice and he said it like changed every, every like an, an instant, mm-hmm. everything changed. He had never heard, heard it like that before. And right. I said, it is the foundation he's building the house, you know, and he's late. Mm-hmm. He just laid the foundation that everything will be built on. It happened in my life. Like, you know, when you hear him speak, it's like mm-hmm. when he spoke, he created the earth. He, mm-hmm. He's created everything. And so when he speaks into us and we hear him, like it, it, it creation takes place. And yeah, so, yeah, that's it. Yeah. And, and creation responds to it. And like so mm-hmm. many, he's like, you're going to think I'm weird. This, this, and this <sighs> happened. I was like, Uh, all of beat the weird in our experiences beat the weird that's why i say beat the weird (laughs) yeah well i knew i knew that i was like in for it when i walked in because i'm like i'm giving i'll give you one hour a week that's it when that Mm -hmm. hour's over i'm gonna pick up my stuff and i'm gonna walk out (laughs) right exactly yep it will and and but he when i walked in he had a table and these notebooks and stuff and i was like i'm in for it i'm so and he's like Please correct me if I, if I need correction and I've got some weird stuff. I've got some weird stuff to tell you. And I was just sitting there and like, it wasn't weird. It was just like God. Yeah. It was, yeah. it was God. And in my mind, I was like, that is not weird. I'm like you mm. haven't seen weird yet, but I'm sure you will. <laughs> You'll see some really good, cool, weird. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and so like, it was really beautiful to see that in other people. That's cool. And, and that, and this is what we, this is what we do. That's what, yeah. what you do. And I and you do. point out how natural it is. You know, we're training yeah. church. You got to go to this class, learn to hear from God. You got to do this, do this, bump up checkpoints. And that's probably what he was talking about too. I had those books on his table. That was me. I first did deliverance. I was like a lawyer. I had all these books. I went with me to do the deliverance. And now it's like, you know, I'll, I'll bring my phone. I'll bring my Bible. Sometimes I know where the verses yeah. are at in my Bible. Right. And yeah. it's just, it's just, what do you do? It's just your spiritual authority. I, I command you to go. No, you got to go. <laughs> Yes. 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 The Jesus in me. You may not like me, but it's the Jesus in me. It's telling you pack up and leave now. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And so that is so such a beautiful. Uh, yeah. I. I. People come and uh, there's every once in a while there's some people and they'll be like, man, I'm just like it's just dry, you know. It, it's dry, yep. and you know, a part of that, like I get. Mm -hmm. But when you are uh, walking other people through things, Mm -hmm. like you really don't, I mean, of course there's, we all, I mean, there are seasons, it's not perfection. And I don't don't live in this like euphoric thing, but it's like the more that I give away this like free, this beautiful experience and, Mm -hmm. and, and keep duplicating that. It's, it's like, it keeps water flowing out of me and it never, Mm -hmm. I never really get stagnant. I don't because it's just the duplication process. And, Mm -hmm. and, and so that's why I tell people, I was like, who are are you discipling? So these are, I'm not just talking about babies, you know, like who don't know, I'm like, who are you discipling? And they just look at me and I'm like, we are not consumers. Like we are not consumers. And so we got to buy the merch. We got to buy the merch, man. (laughs) I love merch. I love merch. And I hate merch at the same time. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, I was like, I'm wearing merch right now. So (laughs) I love good merch and I'm I'm very critical of merch. Mm -hmm. So, but no, I'm with you there. That's where I'm at. Yep. Is Jesus going to throw this table over or he's going to help sell it? I don't know. (laughs) It depends on where you're setting the table up at. (laughs) Exactly. Right. Yep. Yep. (laughs) And so like, I'm like, who are you discipling? And we get stagnant when water sets still and our lives and our hearts, we were created to be like God 
And I know yeah. that's, oh, but, and that was to recreate and to give away and, and to just, yeah. and, and in everyday capacity, not a, well, does that mean I have to be a pastor? Or am I an apostle or am I a prophet? I'm like, who cares? I'm nobody. Jesus was a foot washer. So I don't know. I got, I'm yes. assistant foot washer. That's what I'm yeah. at. <laughs> right. Right. We yeah. just love people and, mm-hmm. you know, invite them into freedom mm-hmm. and experience experiencing the same thing that we get to experience. And that's and, where the joy comes from. It's not through the deliverances. Like you see somebody, no. it's just like, right. Light right. bulb goes on or they, they go, God, I, I, this happened to me. Like, Oh my God, that is so cool. You know, right. That's yes. the shot in the arm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And so that's always, that's my, you know, so mm-hmm. I'm always like, who, who are you discipling? Like Jesus right. told us to go and mm-hmm. make disciples, not of ourselves, right. make disciples of him. And, mm-hmm. and so that is like, Hey, if you're, it, it will never get old and right. it'll never run out. And, and it's, it's a wonderful life and it. It's mm-hmm. a wonderful life. That was really cheesy, but <laughs> it's great. And so, and so that's what I do. And even with the woman thing, because I've had to, you know, navigate being a woman right. and doing stuff and traveling and doing those things. And I just tell mm-hmm. people, here's the deal. You know what? If you don't like me in this capacity, I'm just going to tell you I'm be- following Jesus. And he told me right. to make disciples mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I'm just a disciple maker. That's all I'm doing. And so my one it conundrum looks like about a lot of the, things. Right. My one conundrum about the argument that a woman can't be a minister is back in Moses where his wife goes to do the circumcision on what's her son and throws a circumcision at Moses, they call his feet or his crotch. And because God was going to smite Moses for not being properly circumcised. But the action she did as a Levite, not being a Levite, was accepted by Jesus or God. Or Jesus, yeah, right? Yeah. And God didn't smite him for it. And like, I asked people, well, what about that one? I'm like, well, you know, the, you know the, then the head goes in a spin, right? You know, yeah. <laughs> she acted so, as a Levite priest. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so weird. It's like culturally, like a woman is supposed to train up and teach children. But like, what's mm-hmm. the age where they're, they're no longer, they're disqualified right. from then teach? Like they can be in your Sunday schools. And teach mm-hmm. the next generation and instill right. and impart like all the kind of things. But like, you know, is it 10? Is it 11? Is it 12? Like when, when is the off switch of like, you no longer are acceptable to teach right. this certain type of people. <laughs> and there's all the women Paul had with them too, right? It's like Tabitha and right. those guys like, okay, yes. well, how do you explain yeah. that? <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, I, I doubt the women that follow Jesus around were yeah. just cooking food, you right, know, right. and cleaning up after them. I mean, I'm mm-hmm. sure like there was a part of that as well, but which mm-hmm. I do that. Like mm-hmm. I, as, as much as I go, like my everyday life is um, just what the Lord does for me. So he prepares a table before me every right. day. I sit mm-hmm. and, and out of what he, I just, mimic what jesus does for me and in in my life i sit Mm -hmm. with him and he prepares a table and we eat and we talk Mm -hmm. and we have dialogue and it's amazing and the father comes in sometimes Mm -hmm. and holy spirit shows up and like he cooks me stuff and i and so i'm like Mm -hmm. i didn't even notice for a long time that i was just um replicating what they were doing in my life with other people. Cause that's how gather people started. I started Mm -hmm. saying, we're not connecting deeply and we're, we're, you know, we're hustling and we're trying to make it big. And, but there's something wrong. Like we eat horrible. Like we, you know, it's all about the next gig. And I was like, Mm -hmm. what if I started making great meals and inviting them to a table and we're not talking about gigging. We're not doing that. Mm-hmm. We're mm-hmm. sitting around and I, that that's just how it started. And it never stopped. I started doing right. that in 2016 and mm-hmm. I, that's, that's all I do. And people are always like, so what are we going to do next? Like, what are we going to go in a building? Are we going to do this? And I said, no, we're going to keep eating mm-hmm. and we're going to invite people to the table <laughs> yep. and around the table people get changed because on Mm -hmm. stages you can get qualified and disqualified and elevated and demoted, but around a table, 
like real, like that's you right. don't ever, that's right. you, don't, that. you don't ever yeah. push people. You're like, well, you're not qualified to sit at the table tonight and have dinner because you were bad yesterday. Mm-hmm. And right. so like, so we don't like, it's, it is the most efficient way. And Jesus mm-hmm. modeled it. Mm-hmm. And, and so like, why would I, why would I not model that? And, right. and so, and, here, and you take non-worship are. people too. Cause I, I mean, maybe Sterling can teach me how to play the tambourine next time I'm out there or something, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that was my like right? conundrum out here. Right. I'm like, I don't want to do, you know, it, I didn't intentionally say, Hey, I'm just going to invite all the musicians. It was right, just yeah. like, that's, that was my life. It was people, I, right? Gather people. I, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And, and I, and I lived in the church and then mm-hmm. I did music outside all the time. And I was just around musicians. Like when you're in yeah. a large institution, you never connect with anybody else. You never see anybody else. Like mm-hmm. you're on a stage for all the services. You go to the green room so you can eat and like, mm-hmm. maybe like take a nap or something because you have been up for, you know, before the butt crack of the butt show, the butt crack of dawn. <laughs> uh-huh. And, uh, and so like, it was. So you're inaccessible. So, That's what it is. So, right? You're inaccessible. Oh yeah. And it, it was such a, it's a bad way. Mm-hmm. It is an inefficient way to right. live. And of course, then so much idolatry happens because of that. And mm-hmm. I mean, man was never meant to be worshiped. And when man right. begins yeah. to be worshiped, we get corrupted. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean that we're a bad person. Man was never meant to be worshipped. It will right. corrupt them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, but yeah. And so I, that's why then I started just musicians were the people. But mm-hmm. after a while, it wasn't musicians. That's not the heart right. of what was happening. It was people's mm-hmm. families, people's yeah. marriages, yeah. people's children, people's mm-hmm. mental health, people's lives. And I was like, oh my goodness. Like that's... anybody can sit around the table. That's when I enjoyed when I was out there. There's because the, the main thing about Jesus, he came to heal the brokenhearted. We're all broken. Yes. And in these environments, your brokenness can be exposed safely. Right. Yes. In a yeah. church environment. Oh, I just prayed for that guy. Guess what he's got? You know, but it's not yeah. like that here. It's like, OK, we're all dealing with our stuff here. And I think yeah. that's where the church derailed, too. Yeah. And you can't hide when you live in community and family. You can hide in the church. Yep. Like you can yeah. hide in the church. Put on so the when, good suit. Yep. <laughs> yeah. When, when people started coming out and we started like gathering and deciding, mm-hmm. wait a minute, like this, this, I think this might work. Oh my goodness. Well, yep. people's lives went to hell. And I remember being in prayer and I was just weeping. And I was mm-hmm. like, I've ruined people's lives. I'm ruining that. And, and God one day said, you know what, Megan, you didn't ruin them. That was there. And in the church, people just say, we don't care if you have weeds or grass, you just keep it mowed. Yeah. And those yep. roots grow deep down. And, and so what was happening is that no longer that, that need to, it doesn't matter what horrible stuff is happening in me, as long as I can function in this mm-hmm. capacity like I'll still be able to do that. And so I'm just going to put, I'm just going to mow my weeds, mow my sticker. No one's going to know there's not grass. That's here. Right. No one's going to know. It looks green. It looks mm-hmm. green. And so, mm-hmm. and it just all was coming up to the surface and, and God was like, it has to happen. Like yeah. this, this would have been there and the roots would have grown and gotten bigger and larger. And you know how, I mean, we all know what that mm-hmm. looks like when you just right. break something off at the top and the root just keeps growing. Like then you have to big up, dig a big old hole. And yep. I mean, it yep. to get the thing out. And, and so grass can grow. And, and so well, that was a whole, just like, yeah, I'm creating that was the whole reason for sanctification, right? Because once we're justified, we still have the sick soul. Right. Oh, yeah. Justification is where we're trusting Jesus to come in and heal the sick soul. And we all yes. got it. It's all called original sin. Right. We all have that garbage yeah. in our head. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what you said. Right. With the weeds and the But no, let's go mow yeah. it. Let's not let Jesus heal it. Let's go. Yes. Let's go give the membership church some money, you know, and put on the show, yeah. put on this, put on yeah. the lighting, put on the programs. But it never attends to the sick soul that Jesus wants to heal. And that's well, why I think it's I mean, beautiful about your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I, I've heard you say, you've said it to me with, cause you know, I, I bounce things back, you know, off of you mm-hmm. with certain mm-hmm. things that I come across and like the church doesn't have the ability and it's not good for business to say, 
you know what, this is going to take a long time. Mm -hmm. Like this is going to be a process and, and it's going to take all these different things that happen. And, you know, you're going to get deliverance for some things, but some things that you haven't had, like it's only going to um, change within when stuff gets added to that. And it can only happen little by little. It's like when you water, like, like dry parched ground, the water runs off, you know? And mm -hmm. so you just get, you barely do a little bit and it soaks in and then you do it. And after a while, like you have the ability to absorb so much more, but it is a, sometimes it's a long process. I had a long process. Like they just yeah. told me you get deliverance and then pat you on the butt and, and go home. <laughs> Out you go. And yep. Yes. And I, and I thought something was wrong with me for a long time. And I'm like walking in signs and wonders and mm -hmm. God's just doing all kinds of things. But there was this part in me that was like, there's something wrong and I'm broken and I'm, I'm still like struggling in my mind and mm -hmm. maybe it didn't work, but, but I like trust the Lord. And I, and I kept getting into the presence of the Lord every over, yes. and over and over and over and over every day. Like, even Holy Spirit would be like, I will take care of your children. Like I, they'll be fine. And cause mm -hmm. I would get up, I'd be like, Oh my gosh, how long have I been here? And they're like, he's like, it's okay. I'm like, I will take care of your children while you're processing. And I had to do that by myself, but it would have been wonderful to do it mm -hmm. within family and community. Right. But it's bad. The church can't do that because they mm -hmm. don't have the time. They right. don't. And nobody wants to hear that this isn't going to happen overnight and it's probably not going to look good for a while mm -hmm. and it's going to be messy. Like mess is not right. what you want in those mm -hmm. shiny places. And so like family and small community is where. Right. Like, exactly. Needs Commun to yeah. Community. It's community right there. And you go through the Jim Wilder books. Talk about, he starts talking about community, how important it is for healing. Yes. You know, but you just yeah. nailed a lot of the, the listeners we have here too. When people came out of sex trafficking, the church didn't know what to do with them. They right. want to just, you know, praise this movie that gets people out of sex trafficking and stuff, but we do nothing with them once we get them. And they're in the oh. church in agony and not knowing how Jesus can come in and heal them. You know, whether they yeah. came in for the occult, whether they came from sex trafficking or whatever, you know, a bad marriage yeah. or abused childhood. It, they're all there in the church. Just like you're saying, right? There's no community for them to heal. No. You know, no. we're, we're going to no, have that trunk told, or treat. Yeah. We're going to have this and that, right? But we're not going to have a community heal. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't tell people like my life and what I had experienced right. and, and then, and some, the trauma and stuff of that. I And if you no, were vulnerable, uh, right? It, it was condemnation yeah. if you were vulnerable. Right. Yeah. And you're seeking help. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I learned really quickly, like what to say and what not to say. And I'm grateful. That's exactly you know, it. Yep. Yeah. And I'm grateful that the Lord has brought me on that journey and mm -hmm. has woven people throughout my life and in very significant ways, but, and they weren't around very long and it just was very like monumental like mm -hmm. places. And now I look back and I was like, Oh, that was me, my soul getting healed. It, my deliverance did work. Like it, I, it did work. It was sufficient. And, mm -hmm. but this part of the journey is the one that we have not done a really great job of because we don't want mm -hmm. to put time and the investment into right. people because we're so busy building our own kingdoms and figuring mm -hmm. out what we're called to do. Exactly. We're not building the capital so, K we're building little K kingdoms. Yeah. Yes. Yep. We're building our own little kingdom and, mm -hmm. and so like, it's boring to just be with the same people, like all the time. It's really mm -hmm. awesome when you just travel all the time and, you know, you're around new people and, but that's not what it's supposed to be like. And, right. but I know it's hard because mm -hmm. it's harder to be around people, the same people all the time. And like, we get into each other's business, like, especially we messy, get right? frustrated. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Like we're all mm -hmm. messy. So it's way more glamorous to be like, I'm called to missions and I'm called to be an apostle and I'm called to, you know, prophesy and do all that stuff. And we can keep our bad behavior, but mm -hmm. you can't keep bad behavior in community. Mm -mm. Nope. It gets exposed. <laughs> it, it gets does. exposed. Yeah. It's you. And it is checks the, and balances. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's really great. Mm -hmm. Like I think about like, you know what? 
I mean, I want to honor my husband because like, I love him and then like God loves him. I want that. But, but there's even another aspect of it too, of like, I, I think about how does this affect the world around me? Mm-hmm. And my, what the way I love my husband, the way, how yeah. does this affect my children? The way I love my, you know, husband is going to affect my children. And so it mm-hmm. is, it holds a, a, a beautiful accountability and, oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm very, I'm very grateful for, mm-hmm. for that. So anyway, he's an awesome guy. Mr. Wright's awesome. He's, he's, he's got a checklist in my book. So <laughs> I know he's so great. He's great. <laughs> so I, I never thought I could have this. Mm-hmm. I, I always tell people like I could die happy right now because <laughs> I didn't believe, I didn't know. I never knew people could stay married you know, I didn't know those things. I didn't know you could actually be happy right. and, and none, of, none of that. And so and that just didn't land in your lap, did it? That was, that was work. No. That was, uh, that's yes. what I tell people. It's like, it's, it's all over the map to have a happy marriage, man. There's yeah. the unhappy parts to get to the happy parts sometimes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it was probably mostly on my part because I'm mm-hmm. pretty zealous and <laughs> I can be opinionated. I'm, mm. Yeah, that's still something I work on. So, <laughs> <laughs> me too. It's like some nowadays, my it just flies out of my mouth. They see something, it's like I'm not even gonna try to holster it. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's what um. So it's I probably I needed some humbling and mm-hmm. some learning. Well, I said it filters, but I'm gonna let it out. Okay, Jesus, how do yeah. I filter this? But it's gonna come yes. out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, I know. So mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, it takes a lot of work. Yeah. Um, yeah. but it's great work and <laughs> it can be fun work and absolutely. And so and it's worth it. But but yeah. So I was like, so, so we're getting to top the hour here. What's some of the craziest stuff you've seen? Some of your like Indian reservation stuff you've done? <laughs> or or what's the crazy stuff you've seen maybe not on the Indian reservation, you know? <gasps> um Hmm. Okay, I'm like, Lord, what is it that we'll I can process share? this one? Yeah, I should ask you first to process it over time. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think we like stuff is real. Mm-hmm. It's real, like what you see in movies. I've dealt with skinwalkers. Re- They're real. <laughs> it is yeah. real. Yep. Yes. Okay. I. Mm-hmm. Someone was making a funny comment. They had come over to the house, and they're like, you know, Native Mm -hmm. American stuff. And, and I was like, no, that's real. I've seen Mm -hmm. skinwalkers before. And Mm -hmm. they were just like, like, what? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes, this is real. This is not like, let's just have fun. And, Mm -hmm. you know, funny, I want to be like that. And, and it's actually trendy now, Mm -hmm. you know, like, like witchcraft and all this other stuff is, got to be really trendy and and i mean i'm pretty on the fringe i'm like abby like i have the ability to like see the lord and things you know mm-hmm. and not mm-hmm. be like you know disney's the devil like i can't right. you know like i there's a lot of things that i find that, however like we have our we like it's getting programmed into to where you know good is evil and evil is good it doesn't right. take you know just rocket like you just said right yep. that. yeah mm-hmm. and now like kids are like it's different from when we were a little kid pretending that we were a dog. Now they're wanting to tap into like witchcraft so they could be skinwalkers. Yeah. And, and it's on and TikTok. They could, they could, they could get the spell off TikTok to become a skinwalker. Right. right? You know, right. Like, yeah. And, and I'm like, it's not worth it Mm-mm. and it's real. And so, yeah, I mean, we see, I, we see that all the time um, mm-hmm. out in places like that. I, I run into, supernatural stuff but i lived in that before mm-hmm. and i thought like that was over with when i got saved and it right. did get quiet no mm-hmm. i was walking you know and things but i was like well if i never have any of that kind of stuff again that's fine you know i who cares right, exactly. like i yep. have jesus yeah. like i mm-hmm. have jesus i'm not going to 
try to get anywhere. Like I'm not going to try to get, do these things and conjure these things up. I mean, it's like Christian right. witchcraft now. I mean, we have yeah. Christian witchcraft. And, mm-hmm. and so like, I, my thing was I, anything, I was like, anything you've seen on TV, like I have seen in real life. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, and so it gets Except for Bigfoot. Crazy. I still want to see Bigfoot, but that's about it. <laughs> I have not oh, you have a sighting? Bigfoot. I've not, nope. not had a sighting. I've talked to people who've had sign, uh, seen exactly, them. Exactly, right, yep, yeah. Uh, but I, I've i seen, like, I know this is going to sound so, so, I've, like, I have seen little gnomes, and they're mm-hmm. not good. Mm-hmm. And I've seen little fairies, and they're, like, little messengers of, you know, uh, listeners. Well, that's <laughs> I what they think call them in Scotland, are... right? The the fairies, they're demons. They call them. They're yeah. not little like Tinker Bells. They're demons. It's like that's that's what a fairy is. It's a demon, right? Yeah. A little, yeah. And you can see them. They'll they'll float like a little ball floating outside or something with a little sparkle like she has. That's what they look yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, that's what they look like. So all yeah. of those kind of things. I'm like, mm. this is real. Yeah. And and so like people have a hard time with that and. Mm-hmm. And so like I do, but God has, does amazing. Like he, yeah. we go out and pop tents up in places and like there will, the last, a big one that we had up in South Dakota, um, like we had a tent and if I drove probably a quarter of a mile in any direction, cause I had to go to the house to get something in the middle of our 24 hours of worship, mm. it was like the gates of hell were raging and hail and like tornadoes Mm -hmm. were everywhere. And then I would like go back in and above our tent, like you could see the stars. (laughs) And, and I was like, what is happening right now? And I pulled up, you know, the, the weather thing. And sure enough, there's like this tiny little hole right where Mm -hmm. our tent is where there is nothing. And mm-hmm. it's just raging all over the place all night long while we are worshiping. And so I, and Abby was with me and we would like pop out and be like, it's crazy, this right? Is crazy. <laughs> we had something weird like that at Burning Man. We went to Cindy McGill like in 2013. We went to the temple and this time the temple was built as a pyramid and there's all these new agers in there doing yoga. And as we entered the temple, there was a dust devil that kicked up. And it kind of like closed off the door to the temple and stayed there while we were ministering in it. And it, like you're saying, right, this crazy like weather things or something. And we were looking like it's like the column of smoke, but it was a dust devil, right? Of Jesus yeah. presence just closing off the door while we're in there ministering. So nobody else come in. We ministered wow. to people and it was done. The dust devil was gone. It was crazy. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get weird uh, stuff. Uh, yeah. So probably... Since I've been here where I'm out out in the desert, it's been Mm -hmm. interesting because the Lord said, he told me, like, I'm going to make an oasis out here. And Mm -hmm. and I was like, sure, that that sounds pretty fitting, you know, for what you're doing. And I did not know, like, what that entailed. And so I would pray and, like, it would not for rain. I would, and this has been, like, the rainiest season at one day we're in the middle of renovating a house and uh, my mud room that started flooding. And, and I'm like, never in a million years has this happened. Like what is going on? And, and so (laughs) my friends call, my friend calls me and she's like, my cat's dying. And I was like, my house is flooding. And she goes, well, I guess, I guess we didn't count the cost of what it would take for a desert to turn into an oasis. <laughs> and it like hit me that mm. this is what this, I've never seen it green out here mm. like this. And, um, and like weird weather things happen every time we do something. Mm-hmm. Um, I wrote a song, the Lord told me to write a rain song and it rained, like there was no rain. It rained for a week. <laughs> And, and so like, just weird. And, right. and I, I think I was like, why is this happening? Like, mm-hmm. why is it the weather things going on right now? And I think number one, man's trying to manipulate it. And God's like, I am yep. like, 
I created, you know, like this is my domain man's messing with it, but Hey, don't forget you do have authority Mm -hmm. in this place. And, and then number two, you can't take responsibility for things. Mm -hmm. Like you can't be like, I laid hands on somebody or like I laid hands on the sky and they are signs and wonders that are happening and, Mm -hmm. you know, in the air and stuff. And, or I, I happen to walk. I, I love um, teaching the kids about like, you know, we need to steward creation. We don't worship it, but like a kid, a kid, um, I was like, you can talk to things like our words have like so much life in them. Like, like God is in, if God is in you and you're created in his image, like everything that we say, like has the power to change things. And, and so like, and it comes from like our heart. So I like to teach like the kids, like, you know, yeah, because they like to plant things and like to do things. And I was like, Mm -hmm. you know what, like you can talk, like you can say stuff like all of creation like really loves to hear from the father and Mm -hmm. we we can be those like that we can be a part of that and so I was telling this little kid that because I was over at their house and he's like three and I'm I go to leave because he was telling me I planted these seeds and my little solo cups and and I was like, oh, well, I left that day and I saw the two solo cups and they were dry and it was just dirt and the solo cups. <laughs> and I like leaned over and I sang a little song, not even thinking and walked off. And mm-hmm. uh, and three hours later, um, this little boy's grandma calls me and he said, did you talk to those solo cups? And I said, nope, I didn't talk to those solo cups. Mm-hmm. And, and but then the next statement, she goes, did you sing to those solo cups? And I said, mm-hmm. I did sing to those solo cups on my way out your front door. Just I, I bet mm-hmm. five seconds. And she said, so there mm-hmm. is a plant about three inches tall. What? In <laughs> each solo cup. <laughs> That's crazy. And she said, now my my grandson is outside singing, <laughs> singing the Lord's songs over all of the plants. So mm-hmm. every time I go visit them, I walk up this walkway and it is just bursting with beautiful plants. And mm-hmm. we live in the desert. And and God is just one. I feel like right, God's just wanting like there is a simplicity and a sweet childlikeness that we have forgotten and it mm-hmm. keeps our hearts pure and it it keeps us connected as sons and daughters. Yes. And I think that is why he's called me back out here. And it's not to do anything like profound. It's to like be reminded and to live in that and to invite other people into it. And, mm-hmm. and like, it changes things and, and we don't have to say, Hey, like I'm super awesome. Mm-hmm. You know, like I'm super special. Like I'm the anointed one. <laughs> like you should be so grateful. I got I'm my here. anointing. <laughs> my office. Yeah, I hold an office. I'm anointed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not <laughs> anointed. We just live in a union mm-hmm. and in communion, and we can do yes. that. And so, yeah, yep. and it, awesome. it's like you're teaching with like the realms of the heart. Like that's what that is. It's like mm-hmm. the deeper mm-hmm. and the more hidden we become in Him. And mm-hmm. he's hidden in us, like it. You like every if all of the inheritance that we have access to, it just comes out. We don't have to try it. We don't have to right. work at it. Yeah, and yeah. it yeah. offends religious people, mm-hmm. and the enemy hates it. He mm-hmm. hates it. So it's just that simple. So yeah. So that that's probably my you know fun little things that happen i mean mm-hmm. i have so many stories every week i have stories oh, i know you do the like, same here like we could go on for hours we gotta right, <laughs> we'll cap right, it <laughs> right yes but so I'm so like, we could go on for all hours all of y'all yeah. are special uh-huh. you're all special mm-hmm. because you're sons and daughters and mm-hmm. you have the same access uh, so. right that's it right so, there yeah. that's that's the drive home point we we all have the same <laughs> holy spirit yes there's not multiple what? holy spirits there's not the gold yeah. gold um 
privilege level, the silver privilege level, or the bronze, yes. or the beginner. It's all it's all gold. <laughs> yep, you've moved up the first class, Megan. Actually, no, I yeah, feel like yeah. I in the natural, I'm like I got I'm getting downgraded, but mm -hmm. in the things that are most important, it, it's wonderful. And yep. so, so yeah, cool. That's, that's me. We thank you for having you on, man. Like, I, kn I knew we had to get you on. There was so much you have to share <laughs> and who you are. So it's just, you know, it's just natural stuff, right? We're not, we're nobodies and we're yeah. out doing it. And that's, that's all he wants us to do, man. Build little communities around us, you know, yeah. and raise people up. Yeah, I know. I'm so grateful that you had me on and it cool. didn't hurt as bad as what I thought it was going to hurt talking about <laughs> certain <painful>. things. <laughs> Right. I was like, I would uh, rather dissect the institution than talk about myself. <laughs> we'll get that next time. We'll get that oh, again. <laughs> I will always be down for that. So. Uh -huh. Like, hold my earrings. Here we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hold my wig. <laughs> hold my wig. <laughs> um, cool. Well, thank you so you much, friend. Megan. Oh, thank yes, you thank too. Thank you.